As part of their training in the Armor Basic Officer Leader course, these freshly commissioned armor officers are getting a glimpse into the infantry as they learn how to engage targets using the Bradley Fighting Vehicle, which is predominantly an infantry personnel carrier. Well, Bradleys are the second most complicated platform in the Army, and it is a stabilized platform, so with it being the most compli or one of the most complicated, if we can get them to be proficient with all of the tasks that are required just for a basic crew here, it's going to be easier for them to fine tune it and advance faster once they do hit the force. During this live fire exercise, these young leaders will execute firing engagements. Three from the defensive positions and three on the offensive, allowing them to work as a crew and perfect the enemy's scanning techniques they've learned throughout a Bullock. Bradley's work very effectively whenever you're going to do rapid and forceful type missions. If you're in a tank, they're going to know you're there. If you're in a Bradley, they're going to know you're there. So using the Bradley when your enemy is not superior than what you can actually destroy, that works out very well. And that's what we try or we try to convey to them while they're here. Unlike the Abrams, which supports a tank commander, a driver, and a gunner, Bradleys have the ability to carry six ground troops in the back in addition to the crew. Bradleys can get troops to the fight quickly and provide covering fire to suppress the enemy and armored vehicles. It throws a little bit of a twist in it from what we've learned previously. So from the tanks, you know, you're stationary and you're not going to be really moving from the tank, but on the Bradley side, um, having the dismounts in the back changes things a lot. These armor officers may be training on Bradleys today, but when it comes to firepower, nothing compares to the shock and awe of 70 tons of rock iron steel of a tank. Personally, um, I enjoy being an armor officer because it gives you a broad aspect of controlling many things and multitasking. Um, rather than worrying about one single thing, you're worrying about your navigation, you're worrying about the troops, you're worrying about other vehicles, you're also scanning for other possible enemy or enemy vehicles in the areas. Katie Cook, Fort Benning TV.